if you're still arguing against the evidence that it doesn't matter what you wear, that it's, uh, beauty is only inside and, and, and God doesn't care about what's on the outside. Well, number one, that is not biblical. You need to go and read the scriptures because I studied fashion from the scriptures. I spirit of beauty from the scriptures. It's my favorite conversation on the planet. But I, uh, you're not going to be left behind if you're still arguing with that, friend. You have already been left behind. The evidence is out there. It's called enclosed cognition. The, the, the science is out there. What you wear is either attracting or repelling powerful people and opportunities. Which one are you doing? Which do you even know how you are come, how you are perceived, how you are coming across in the world? If you're one of those people that says, this is who I am, like it or leave it, trust me, people are leaving it. We need to learn how to dress on the outside in a way that reflects the woman on the inside. If you want to boost your confidence, your income, your influence, perhaps your romantic status, you need to dress today for that which you want to attract. This is the simplest and most powerful visual aid that you have in your life. You don't even have to open your mouth. You walk into a door and you can say something through what you're wearing. What is it that you want to say? What is it that you are saying? And here's the good news, my friend. Style is just a skill. If you hate shopping, if you're waiting for the wait, if you uh, think fashion is, if you think it's expensive, if you think you don't have time, I've got an answer and a solution to every single excuse slash reason that you or habit that you might have had for the last however many years. You're called to greater things. You're called to get up, dress up, and be a bold light on a hill. And here's the important thing. So when we get over ourselves and focusing and obsessing on our butt, our boobs, our bellies, and, and just being so self-focused, we are then more able to focus on others, help others, bring more value to our corner of the world. It is time. You are needed. This world needs confident, beautiful, approachable, successful women. And that's you. Let me show you something about your body shape that I think is going to really help you. There are five body shapes. And in the Linda Page Coaching Program, I teach this. I show you how to identify your body shape, how to dress according to it, where to find those clothes, in what color, at what price, how to mix and match it according to your unique style. I don't copy and paste my style onto you. I teach you how to identify your own. Let me show you something right here. I have a beautiful client of mine by the name of uh, Jean Marie. Check this woman out, okay? A confident commercial litigator. She came to me and she's like, Linda, I am done being overlooked, not taken seriously. This is a badass, highly intelligent, very successful litigator, but felt that she was being overlooked, not taken seriously. Her opinion wasn't being considered in very important cases. And she said, the only thing I can think that might be the problem is how I dress. There's just nothing else that I'm lacking. Well, this woman went from zero to hero in a very short period of time. Not only did she discover how to dress on the outside that reflects the woman on the inside, but she discovered a love of color, a love of fashion, and boy, has it changed her life. Let me show you something here about body shape. So there are five body shapes, and I've renamed them, by the way, because for goodness sake, how can you make an apple feel sexy? So in my program, you learn about the five body shapes. This is the former rectangle, which I now call the dynamite, because all bodies are beautiful. This dynamite, so the straight up and down, have a look at what Jean Marie used to wear uh, for a swimsuit at poolside, and have a look at what she's wearing now. She chose that swimsuit. I taught her about using fashion math, lines and angles, so she's straight up and down. Here's the simple version of fashion math. You have straight up and down if that's you. Now all you need to do is highlight the shoulders and highlight the hips and voila, you've created some shape that you didn't even think was there before. Fashion math is your friend. Don't be critical of fashion. Don't complain about fashion. Don't say, I hate shopping because then you will never get it right and, and, and you'll never get it to work for you. I also said to her, oh my gosh, I see your thick, beautiful red hair. Can we grow it? So she has allowed me to, us to grow her hair and look at what's coming out. This gorgeous, beautiful, that's how she was designed. This, how many litigators do you see leading a court case in the courtroom looking like that? Everyone is just, well, just doesn't look like that. Now she's standing out. She isn't just being taken seriously. She has been asked to lead cases and also for her input in other projects. And all she changed is what she wore. Yep, what you wear can change your life. So look at what she's doing here. She's having a ball with not just her swimsuit, but the rest of her clothing, her suits for the courtroom, uh, for her date nights with her husband, for socializing. She's understanding to an incredible level that her up and down dynamite shape requires emphasis on the shoulders and at the hips. 
and at the thighs. This shape is also great with high-waisted bikinis, by the way. It's beautiful. So check it out. Here's what she's doing now. She's wearing different kinds of bikinis, trying straps, trying prints. Listen, when you get this right, fashion is good for marriage. And if you're single, you need to learn how to dress today to attract the man that you want to attract. Understanding your body shape, not your size, shifting from size to shape is a game changer. And it's what's going to help you to go from frumpy and frustrated and, 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 and hiding and dressing down to highlighting what I call your best bits and using fashion math, lines and angles and colors to create shape where you want to create it. Let me give you another example. Let's say you are what I call the booty full, okay? The full booty or the former pair. So if you have a booty full shape, number one, you have that full booty. Stop trying to hide it. You want to accept and love it and just build the top up. It's that simple. So you, you love on the bottom. She's there. It's all that. And now you just use puffy sleeves and broad collars and beautiful detail on top with maybe thick, broad belts to balance out the top. And there you go. No more hiding your butt or your booty. You are beautiful. And your shape and your body are a gift. We need to be women who are excited about aging. It is not rude to ask a woman her age. Every day that we get is a gift with our loved ones and to do business and to have some adventure in the world and to bring something good to where we live. Aging is a good thing. Next time somebody asks you how old you are, don't say I'm 63 years young. Say I'm 63 years old and I'm a badass. So I encourage you to join us. Below is a pre-sale link to our first ever Black Friday 50% sale. Yes, it's a no freaking brainer. I have slashed it in half why because there are too many women out there who don't know what to do, who are getting divorced on antidepressants, fighting for the kids uh, for custody in court, facing all kinds of illness and other cha challenges. And I can tell you this, that when you understand self-esteem and self-confidence and you understand your body shape and you understand some basic fashion math, you'll be shocked at just how easy it is to get up, dress up and walk out your front door knowing that you nailed it. This Black Friday 2023, the 50% sale is being released. And there is a very small limited number of seats that I'm making available. But the pre-sale link is going out as of today. Why? Because I want to see who's looking. I want to see who's out there searching for how do I get more out of 2024? Don't leave this year, my friend. Don't leave 2023 thinking, oh, it's not all about me. I'll, you know, you look after everybody else, your, your family, your business, your company, your community, your church. It's time for you to prioritize you. It's biblical. Love your neighbor as yourself. Therefore, you know, you need to know how to love yourself well first to love others better. It's like being on the airplane. They say, put your oxygen mask on first before you help others. There's a reason for that. We are stronger together and we are stronger when we get up, dress up, and we position ourselves for a successful, confident, positive day. The link is below. You're watching this because you've been thinking and praying for long enough. There's nothing more to think about. Faith without action is dead. The link is below. Click it and I'll come alongside you every step of the way.